guys, my name is Sarah Bell and I am the office manager um, for Catalyst Press here in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, I am here today with Isak of Lapa Publishers. They are Catalyst Press distributor. Hi Isak, how are you doing? Hi Sarah Bell, I'm well, um, very well. Um, it's nice to see you again. Nice. The funny thing about COVID is that, you know, we actually don't live far apart and we don't see each other apart from, you know, this way. So we might as well have talked to somebody in the United States. It's so I interesting. <laughs> so crazy how we used to be, we're getting uh, to these Zoom calls, but I'm very excited to be able to see you in person again. Indeed, yeah. So the reason I wanted to chat with you today, I just wanted to... Um, let Catalyst Press followers know what we do with LAPA, what your relationship is with Catalyst Press and with our publisher, Jessica Powers. Um, if you just want to chat on that a bit, that would be great. Awesome. Yeah, I, I think, you know, the, the important thing is that I've known Jessica for eons. Um, I was introduced to Jessica through a, very, through a mutual friend, and we've become very good friends over the years. Um, Jessica, of course, in, um, has worked extensively in publishing and publicity in the United States for other companies. And so when she had this dream of beginning a list that would look at Africa and African stories, um, she said to me, you know, it's like, would there be a way in which you can help? And I said, well, let's approach LARPA. And uh, we signed up um, Catalyst Press as an agency um, under an agency agreement here at LARPA. And, uh, to us, it's extremely important because LAPA um, publishes mostly in Afrikaans, um, although we do have quite a number of English books, but the majority is Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, Afrikaans is one of the indigenous languages here in South Africa, so we, we tell African stories. But what I really appreciate about the Catalyst stories is, of course, it, it simply broadens our reach. Um, on the one hand, they are wonderful South African stories like The Wall and The Farm from Max Annas. There are the Luke Malva stories um, about Shaka, who is an extremely important historical figure in South Africa. But then you have stories like The Lion's Binding Oath um, that, you know, are from Ethiopia. Uh, oh, sorry, not, uh, he, he's from Somalia. And then, of course, then, you know, the... Uh, um, a row down both sides, which is situated in Ethiopia. And, and so the beautiful thing about our, our joining of forces has been that it has enriched LAPA's list. And of course, it has obviously, you know, in the sense that, that being in the United States, Jessica could for a very long time not actually have somebody here. You are here now, which is amazing. I love working with you on this. But we have the infrastructure, we have the ability to get books into bookshops, and our entire team now sees Catalyst as absolutely part of LARPA, so we treat those books as LARPA books, and it's wonderful. Um, our team absolutely loves the books, and, um, you know, we, so it's a, it's a win-win situation for both parties, I believe. Wow, that's wonderful. And so tell me a little bit about what specifically you do at LARPA. What is your role? I do marketing, um, so I, I'm working with quite a large team in, in um, LAPA. Um, in fact, it's probably a small team doing big things. We, you know, we'd like a little, tiny little um, dog that, that barks for the big dogs, and then all the big dogs go, whoa, you've got a big voice for a small, small dog. Sorry, those are my dogs. With, yeah, exactly. Sorry, speaking about which, um, they also believe that they are bigger than they really are. But, but I mean, the, the, the reality is, um, you know, we're, we're actually a small, very dedicated team, um, and uh, we, we do everything from, you know, social media marketing, um, getting into the press, uh, and obviously, you know, a large part of what I'm trying to do is to always forge new markets, create new avenues for our books, um, and between my colleague Ian Denival and I, we work very, very hard on books building a press relationship or a relationship with the press, you know, getting really to, to get to know each of the important players on a, on a personal basis, very much that we can speak like, like you and I can, mm -hmm. um, and actually just, just chat to each other. And, and I firmly believe that if I have a trustworthy relationship with somebody in the press, if I say, this is an important book, then they will listen to me. And, and that's kind of what we've been doing over the years, is building up those relationships, building up trust, um, and uh, I work very, very closely with our sales manager, who is uh, Maria Buerta, and she's got 
a large team of people working under her and uh you know, with, with, with our help, she goes into the bookshops with the marketing material that we create. Um, she goes to the bookshops and say, guys, have you seen the farmers just been on one of the big dailies throughout the country? And that way we, you know, we create bigger interest for, you know, each of our books. And we do it with every single book. It's, it's a great way to, um, our list is relatively big. Um, we, we do roughly... 20 books per month um, so it's a fairly big list but it's small enough for us to individually know every book and that's lacquer that's very cool too lacquer by the way is a very south african word that means nice followers <laughs> <laughs> might not know that one but no and i can vouch very much for what you said um a small but dedicated team you guys are kind of my go-to for everything i always know isak is on it so um we appreciate it um, and I'll just ask one more question and then I'll let you go. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you guys have coming up at LAPA. I know and also Catalyst just put out the farm. How's that going? Um, if you just want to chat about that a little bit. We're, we're extremely excited about the farm. If I can go one step back um, with the wall. Um, the wall, uh, well, maybe I should just say the reason why I'm a big fan of Max Anna's is he's actually so well known in, in Germany. He is, he's a megastar in Germany and in the English speaking world, not yet, but Hildebrand's um, amazing and beautiful translation. I mean, it doesn't read like a, like a translation. It reads like an original. I do read a little bit of German. So, I mean, I, I could compare the two and it's a beautiful translation. So with the wall, we already had a kind of a world. This is a fresh new quirky acerbic voice and I use the word acerbic very specifically because I I market Max Annas as the book version of Quentin Tarantino you know I mean it is bang oh it's, it's wonderful it's gorgeous and it really is just you know it's blood and guts wherever you look but but underneath the the quirkiness there is an absolutely dedicated seriousness as with quentin tarantino you know you can never walk away from a tarantino movie without laughing and then thinking actually i should not laugh at that and that's exactly how i feel with with max annas it is such a powerful he's such a powerful writer so with a wall we actually um, we, we really managed to get a lot of attention of people saying this is wonderful and different and now with the farm um, a lot of people in the United States might not know, but farm murders is a massive topic in South Africa. And yes, on the one hand, some on the left, extreme left, would say, oh, it's only the right wing pushing it. The sad thing is the right wing would be very happy, as Max Annas points out, that actually, guys, if you look at the figures, it is staggering, it is sad, it is real. Um, the, so, so how you look at it, whether it's a political game, whether it is crime, whether it is whatever the reality is, innocent people get murdered on the farm. Too often in South Africa, it is really quite an important burning topic. And what Anas has done with the farm <laughs> is he's once again created this wonderful um, option where somewhere, in, you know, you are you're absolutely in the middle of that attack. You're sitting in the house and the bullets are flying all around you. And, you know, it's a... Um, and, and nobody is sure exactly why this farm is being attacked. And, and he puts all these little um, misleading, these red herrings on the book. You think, oh, no, I know. And then you realize, no, it can't be. And then, yeah, no, no. And, then, and in the end, I mean, read the book, but it's, 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 in the end, it's a typical South African situation. Ah. Hi there. No, we're Sorry. Back. I lost you for a second. Um, so you were in the middle, bullets were flying through the kitchen and you were saying, but it's also a typical South African situation. Um, yes, I mean, the, the, the point is just that, you know, while you're sitting in that house, um, the red herrings make you think, I understand why this farm is being attacked. And then you realize it was a head, red herring. And then you, there's another one, another one. But it is typically South Africa. Um, Many books have been written about farm murders in this country, some very political, some very not. Um, and in the end, there is the, I'm not going to give away the story. People should read it, whether you're in the United States or whether you're in South Africa. It's a must read book. It's absolutely. But, but what Anna does so well, again, is he takes the political situation and instead of being a dreary, harsh book, he actually turns it into this incredible read it's a quick read it actually is a very easy read but 
but it takes you into the heart of the problem on both sides. And I, I think it's just, it's utterly brilliant. And so far, we've actually had some very, very good reviews. Um, Varald Veit, which means worldwide in Afrikaans, it is a, some people would say a right wing leaning magazine. Um, they have a, uh, they have a following of over 100,000 followers on their newsletter. They picked it up and they broadcast it very loudly because to them it was an important book. And that kind of shows you that, you know, in South Africa, this book is being appreciated for what it is. And so I'm seriously hoping that a lot of people would actually pick this up and, and appreciate it for the value that it has. Mm, that's wonderful. I ag agree 100%. And I am... I always make myself not talk about it because I'm the worst at giving away endings, so I won't talk about it, but it's definitely a must read. Um, it's so hard not to give away the ending, am I right? Ah, but anyway, read no. the book, read the book, read the book. Read the book, yeah. read the book 100%. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you chatting with me and telling us a little bit about what's happening at LAPA. Um, we are very excited to be working with you. Like you said, you guys, you guys are an incredibly dedicated team. Um, so we appreciate it. And I look forward to catching up with you in person as soon as we can. Oh, absolutely. We'll have coffee once we may. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah Bell. It was lovely chatting to you.